Check out that moon. And the planet, star, slash, whatever below it. give you guys an update on our tater tater taters pretty good huh look at this one up there so they're coming up I still haven't planted the rest of the onions I still haven't planted anything over there but our cow is coming up quite nicely. We ate a lot off from this cow last year. Um, yeah, it's good stuff, especially cooked. You can eat it raw, put it in your shakes. The um, carrots and the radishes are coming up. So some of these carrot tops are from last year <laughs> and obviously like that one, you know, is from last year, but I left it. So, but that one is probably from last year. Um, the br Brussels sprouts are doing well. And our pepper plants. We're going to add banana peppers here in the middle, maybe. Um, so our beans are coming. Um, where did I see it? It was in here somewhere. Anyways, they should be popping up in a couple of days. They're sprouted underneath. So if we get some sun here in the Adirondacks... Our beans are going to be looking great. Plus, we have 40 more coming. So, we planted 40 bean plants, um, Blue Lake bush beans, and we have 40 more coming. Um, what a mess. <laughs> so, out here, this pile, Bigfoot and Ollie brought a lot of that out front for spring um, yard pickup. So we're going to be extending this all the way out to where that is. So we have a lot of burning to do. And then these wood piles, we're going to straighten out. Um, this is pretty much the same, except for things have grown a little bit. I did add some things like lemon thyme and some more um, oregano. Uh, didn't do the German. I did some Greek. So we already have the German. We've got a lot of plants sprouting up from last year. Um, I also added rosemary and lavender. And of course, I'll be doing the Thai basil over here. We had some rains 
So what we did have on this plant here that poked up from last year, we got more. But as you can see, the rain knocked off a lot. The King Henry's I planted last year came back. The King Henry of Violas, they are edible. They taste wonderful. You can put them in salads or you can put them in, um, got grass weeds here. You can put them in salads or you can put them on cupcakes or you can put them um, in ice cubes for your fancy drinks. But I planted some more. This is also a Greek oregano. Um, I planted, I think I planted Kenny Hungry's in there too. Of course, I've got the famous clover patch. Lots and lots of clover patches. I believe this is, um, well, we call it Silver Mound, but I believe it's called Artemisia. So those are both coming back nicely this year. The flax have come back. Flax, flax, flax. Um, let's see. I don't remember what this one is. I think this might be our lily. So that's coming back. Our strawberry plants are back and going crazy. Another volunteer, these uh, violas also came back, the Johnny Jump Ups. Um, lots and lots more plants. I cut the rose bush and that is coming back. So that is a variegated um, yellow with like a burgundy pink color. And the sage is coming back. The thyme is coming back. Our chives are all coming back. So we lost one tomato through the cold, but we've been covering, let's see, we covered three nights so far since the garden's been planted. And then we're gonna have to cover tonight, tomorrow, and possibly the next day too. Um, the early girl is blooming. The husky cherry reds are also blooming. Look at that and the big um, heirloom um, it's the red beefsteak heirloom tomato um, I don't see any uh, I don't see anything on that so um, anything that looks like that take it off Anything that's too close to the bottom or on the ground, take it off. Any suckers that you see, take them off. Um, that's a sucker for anyone who doesn't know. Pinch it, you can replant them. Ugh. So pinch, don't pull. Yeah, they're just little, but I have more tomatoes to replace the one that we lost. And I think I'm going to be doing, I don't remember if I'm going to be doing a Jubilee or a Pink Ox Heart. We'll see. Beefsteak, beefsteak, Jubilee. That Jubilee down there, I'm probably going to replace with a stronger one. But not until it warms up. We'll see how these go. So they're looking a little sad, but not horrible. Um, I did bring some more back in, so we're going to be doing that cucumber thing again because it was way, obviously, way too soon. So we're going to be doing the cucumber plants in here again. Um, parsley. Looks like that yellow one needs to come in. I'll use that for lunch later. So I think we have one um, that might be, well, we got a got an earthworm. That might be one um, zucchini plant. But we planted quite a few, but we also have weeds. Um, so we'll, just like the beans, we're gonna have to wait. So we've gotten quite a few things that have come back. I believe this is a dandelion. Yeah, it is. 
so we're still waiting on the zucchini we're still waiting on the cucumbers and we're still waiting on the green beans um bigfoot and i and ali this week we've been let's see we got it all all raked up um moss is sure growing well there's our strawberries some we gotta get some more and out here we've decided um well, there's the pond i have to work on oh our rhubarb is coming back this weekend this was all folded up but now we've got leaves um the rain barrel is absolutely full um so this fence we were going to do right here to the from the backyard from like this part of the house we have not raked this part of the yard yet so what we're going to do with a fence um we have to get this pile cleaned up and to widen our yard from here to there we have a drainage going down <laughs> away from the house so over here our fence that we left we're gonna be cutting that wrapping it around making a door here to keep her out front but then we're gonna come out with the door we're gonna do a fence diagonally coming out this way so let me see we're gonna be diagonally coming out this way into the yard, not all the way out to our property, but that's another reason we have to pick up this pile still and do all this out here. It's because we're gonna be running the fence all the way up out back um, towards the wood line and then enclosing the backyard. So that way, if we want her out front, we can close the gate, but if we want her out back, and keep her from out front we can either keep this open so she can run out back out front or we can close it one or the other keep her out back or keep her out front so we have a lot of trimming to do and a lot of like sticks to pick up but i'm not going to move that until i put this on something but these are the black raspberries that we planted last year um this will have to get trimmed but that one's coming back this way that way um this is our we have to rake this all away but this is our little baby lilac tree our bush and this all died off but these are all new so um yeah i have some trimming to do some prickers to deal with um where really good gloves when dealing with thorns because thorns do they can cause blood infections um my dad actually had a bloodline from a rose bush thorn so um and he was weeks on antibiotics but anyway that's all the projects we have going on so far um it's been really 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 messy so yeah